please remember to subscribe, click the bell, and enable all notifications. A huge shout out and thank you to all my awesome members. If you want to become a Patreon or YouTube member to support the channel or even play with me on my server, click the links in the description down below. Hey guys, and welcome back to Simulation I, Darkest Fools Mod. So, last episode, we got lucky and got an awesome base over here for ourselves. Well, it's not lucky, it's skill. <laughs> Anyways, uh, but yeah, now we have a proper base. I want to take this over and make my full-fledged base. Um, I also want to make an entrance. If I'm not mistaken, I think the ladder's on that side, right? I want to make an entrance on the opposite side of the ladder. Since this side is a full wall and that side over there is full wall, I want to get, uh, get all my stuff on this side and on the northern side and the western side of the building. Um, just in case that over there gets caved in, we don't lose everything. I do want to see if I can't add more pillars and reinforce them to steel and titanium and stuff. And then on the eastern side of the building towards the junkyard over there, I'm going to add the entrance to my ward base. So this is going to be my ward base on the second level and my base on the third level. Let's just hope this actually works out and we don't lose everything because I really have bad luck sometimes. Okay, as you guys can see, we are a little bit encumbered, unfortunately. Um, it says over here I need to gather 200 wood. Okay, so we're going to make that first. That shouldn't take too long. And we do have our glasses on, so it actually helps as well. Um, we already have 10. No, 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 no. But we always need 10 on us anyway. So I can't afford to just make 190. And after this is done, we need to make as many of these flagstone blocks as possible. It says uh, gather 100 or place 50. So as soon as we can, we need to make sure we're actually crafting all 100. And then we can actually use that in the building over there. Um, I want to make walls and stuff properly on top of the roof so it actually looks kind of nice. And then I want to take the air conditioners and all that stuff out as well. So we're going to be working in the base a little bit today and seeing if we can't get some stuff done. Oh, I thought I already had some. And that sucks. I thought I might have a land claim down over here. Then I could have picked up the fire just now. Okay, we do have cooking pots. We have all our resources, it seems. Now we just need to watch out that we don't get caught up by a lion or a wolf or something again. Guys, the very first episode of the series was insane. There's way too many wild animals coming for us. But yeah, we need to basically... Have I looted everything over here? I think so, right? We need to basically take out the stairs over here. I wonder what happened to that uh, lady at the back. I hope this isn't a mistake uh, checking. There might easily be another wild animal over here. But I need to check. If she isn't gone, then she might have uh, spawned somewhere else in the building. Did she despawn? There's supposed to be a zombie. Well, or rather, there was a zombie in there. Now, all these plants. You know what? Let me just creep it these up. Please, no lions or anything right now. Also, someone commented saying, why don't I just make a spear for when my arrows run out? And that's actually a good idea. <laughs> it's been so long since I actually used it that I haven't really thought about that. Yeah, I want to see what's back here. Ooh, chicken. You're going to give me some meat and feathers. So it might be worth just quickly killing you. And there's also resources over here, but I don't really don't want to mine over here. I want to see if I can't <laughs> fill this hole up as soon as possible. I just want to make sure I don't waste stamina right now. Especially if I were to get attacked by a zombie right now. I'm stuck in a hole with no way out. Oh, I am hungry. Okay, it's a good thing I just realized that. I didn't pay attention properly and I didn't even realize I was hungry. Okay, so we need to get out of this hole. How? It's so easy to get stuck in a hole like this. Um, I want to do it in such a way that I can pick up the frames afterwards. I'm going to have to lose two frames. That's unfortunate. Okay, I don't see any wild animals at the moment, which is good. It seems we have looted all this stuff of here, though, so that's awesome. But yeah, I want to make sure we give as many pillars of here as possible. Technically, this could be like a maze or labyrinth for our war defense. But I want to make sure we put all these pillars in over here. And then that's just going to help with the structural integrity. I don't want this thing caving in on us. It's going to suck if I get somewhat far and all of a sudden this whole place just caves. But yeah, since this zombie over here despawned, she might be up here. So I really, really hope no zombies respawn. But with our bedroll and stuff down, they shouldn't respawn, right? Okay, five. Ooh, that's bad. Uh, that's bad. That's bad. And the problem is over here, these... Oh, uh, this is only wood. I want to say, these are in the way, so we can't even place proper blocks. But if I can take them out like this and just place some flagstone blocks over here, it might actually help a lot. And guys, we need to get this quest done as soon as possible. The sooner we can make a tailor workbench, 
and get some space the better and then we have to work on a mini bike or bicycle really early on i want to make sure we get a lot more stuff done this time around okay 100 there you go are we all busy making wood and this needs repairs now to see if there's any zombies that have respawned like i said the one lady isn't here and she's supposed to be here so she might have slid around and just secretly see if she uh, stands up or something it's only one cheerleader though um all the other zombies should have been taken care of and then also i want to remove all the doors on this place and also all the glass um the glass i'm gonna replace with some other blocks just so that if the zombies were to get onto the second floor, um, they couldn't just easily wreck the place. They'll have to break a few blocks to do so. Did she just despawn? Or did she go to the roof? There was definitely still a cheerleader there. Okay, the horde base is there. So I was right. It's on the left of here where the ladder is, right? No, I was wrong. Okay, so since the ladder is on this side, I actually want to keep the entrance on the other side. But the trade is in the way for that. I could actually make use of the traders, like their line of fire thing. Uh, basically, what I mean by that is where they're aiming at the moment. Uh, if I make the entrance to my ward base over here, um, I could actually make a runway where they run past the guards, and the guards could technically help us defend this place. Uh, but I don't know if that's actually going to work or not. Yeah, I just want to get to the roof and see if this uh, cheerleader is here. Also, we need to drop stuff, so it's okay to go to the roof like uh, right now. I just hope no wandering or anything comes by while I'm busy over here. They need to not see me at this moment. At this point in time, we are not ready to uh, face a wandering horde because they're just going to wreck everything over here. What's over here? That's locked. Oh, there's something else back there, isn't there? Nice. Okay, so, but I can't get in there right now because I need my tool. Oh, wait, wait. I have this. I have this. Thank you. Oh, that's 1,000. Please tell me it's worth it. There's actually something worthy back there. I swear, if there's another kind of zombie or something stuck back there, that's going to suck so bad. If there's another secret stash that I didn't get the first time around, this is going to be awesome. Okay, so. I uh, don't see any zombies. Let's just see if we can't stack a few things. There you go. And... Okay, now I just need to dump everything. We do already have a land claim down and a bedroll. I need to see if I can't make the forges and stuff as well. The sooner I can make all the stuff, the better. Okay, yeah, we're just going to drop everything that we have at the moment that we're not going to use currently. And then hopefully, like I say, we just get through all of this fast. We do have the frames, we have the wood, we have the flagstone now, we just have to place it. I think I'm going to wait until we get the quest to make stuff. For example, we're going to get a quest to make a forge in the builder class over here. Laborer, yeah, as soon as we do this, we're going to get uh, the quest to do a fo uh, forge. Then we make the forge. Um, that way we don't have to make double the forges and waste resources. Ooh. Working stuff's ch Okay, cool. So there's, there's a generator. I don't know if it works or not, though. And there's also some working stuff's crates in there. I actually hope it's broken so I can wrench it. And then I can just chop out the boxes and actually hide in here. This is a nice fallback place. Nice. It's broken so I can wrench it. And then... Ooh, it is getting late again, I think. Oh, it's morning. It can't be... Oh, wait. Where's the... Oh yeah, the ladder's on this side, isn't it? I need to remember which side the ladder is. There's just a lady. Wait, I'm gonna do this though. Wait, what? Just got stuck. I wanna do this so I know exactly where the ladder is, so I don't keep getting lost over here. And then, if I'm not mistaken, the glass over here got yep got destroyed. So nice. Um. For a moment, the uh, plastic bag in my ro uh, room shifted, and I thought, oh crap, there's a zombie behind me. That was kind of bad. <laughs> okay, so where's the entrance again? See, I need to... I need to excavate this whole place. Remove everything. Okay, so it says place blocks. I wonder if I shouldn't just place this whole hallway full of blocks. But that means I'm going to have to remove these blocks over here. At least they're just wood. Ooh, do I have anything? Oh, damn. I thought I might have a scrap fire axe as well. Because if I can remove all these blocks, the zombies shouldn't want to dig up over here. Um, there, there are stairs here, but since blocks are placed on top of the stairs, the stairs become not void. So they opt to not use it at all. If I can make sure that the zombies don't pass over here, then we'll be safe. They'll go for the pillars, however, so we need to make sure that we have another way in and out of over here. And as many pillars as possible downstairs. 
I think as soon as I have the resources, the whole parking lot is just going to be filled to the brim with um, blocks. Or I could just make like a crafting base down there. And yeah, that might actually work as well. Like another storage kind of room, but then uh, it needs to be surrounded by a ton of resources. So that if zombies were to break through, it's like, it's like a chocolate cake, for example. Yeah, with this bed roller. Say that's the parking lot, but it's this big, right? I'm going to fill this and outwards in, and then the very middle is going to be open. Okay, now where's the ladder? Over this side. But the very middle is going to stay open, because if I can do that, I can ensure that... I keep hearing zombies. Um, if I keep the middle open, I can ensure that I can actually use that as a, a storage room of some kind. And if the walls are thick enough, the zombies shouldn't try and get to me. Or at least that's the whole idea behind it. Okay, so it says place wooden frames and place normal frames. I'm not sure if I want to place where I want to place it and if I want to place it. Okay, the nice thing is, oh, it just goes for over here. I thought it might be behind over here as well, but that's normal brick. I wanted to destroy this chest. You know, let's go in over here. I don't see, well, I, I might be wrong, but I don't think there's another box over here. Oh! <gasps> Nice. Okay, so we can actually destroy this. There's no point in this being here. We need to always remove all the clutter, guys. We want to make sure later on we don't worry about this stuff. And the nice thing is there's a lot of electrical parts and mechanical parts over here as well with all of these things. Okay, that's bad. Um, I think we do have some stone left, right? I just dropped everything. Stone, stone, stone. Yep, there you go. I could have sworn I re repaired this unless it broke that easily. Damn. I definitely repeated it once already, so it just broke again. Okay, I think I'm going to make my entrance on the side. Ooh, nice, baby. Okay, I'm going to make my entrance on the side of the trader over here. So I can get from the trader to my base easily and don't have to worry too much. Now, since this is the middle over here, I'm going to line up my ladder over here. I just realized this is plate, so I wonder if zombies will, or like vultures and stuff will be able to dig underneath over here. We'll probably make this block out of something tough. So let's just do this. Damn, this is actually kind of bad. The fact that the plates are over here. Could take them out, but I mean, at the moment, it allows us to at least see what's coming. It, it does give you that little bit of protection. I don't think any zombies um, can fit through here, so that's a good thing. We're going to run out of blocks. It says only uh, to place 50. I'm going to place as far as I can. I want to remove the ladder at the back, although the more ladders we have on each side, the better. If I have a ladder on all three sides where the wall defense is not going to be, so north, west, and south, then we don't have to worry too much about zombies being able to get to us. Um, I don't want to put it on the side we're going to face the horde, obviously, because if the zombies get through, they're going to get to that ladder way too easily and make it up to me. The last thing we want right now is zombies being able to make it up to us. Guys, I do know that my food is very, very low. I should actually quickly focus on that. Let me just quickly do that before we do anything else. Um, This I can actually dismantle. I'll put my... Oh, wait. I put it over there. Why did I put it on the floor? I could have put it over here. That would have been so much better. Okay, so I do need a grill as well as soon as possible. Because the grill will allow me to actually make some proper food as well. Let me see, let me see. I don't think I have any foods at the moment that will help me get a ton of stuff done. Ah, this is bad. Okay, so we're going to make some normal food then. Where's all my jars? 21 jars. Okay, I need to fill them up as well. But for now, I'll make myself some boiled meat. I think that's going to be the best for me at this stage. I just need to make sure, uh, sure that we, as soon as possible, get ourselves some proper food as well. I just used most of my meat, so that's really a bad thing. We need to fill up all the jars, and then this needs to go. I can't wait until we get the forge quest, so we can actually get that out of the way as well. I'm going to keep the shovel on me. We're going to drop this and this. We don't really need that right now. This is for upgrades, but this one, I want to put on this one over here. Oh, wait. You can't put it on level 1 axe. That sucks. You might be able to put it on this one, though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can put it over here. Wait, what? Version 3.3a, we can't modify level 1 stuff anymore. That sucks. And this is for attacking. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so it's a good thing I just realized that. That could have hurt me later on if I didn't realize that. Okay, so we're going to put a few resources away then. Um, I should actually make as many arrows as possible. We have wood, we have stone, we don't really need them at the moment. 
But I do need to upgrade the wood frames, so I can't really use them as well. Okay, that should give us enough food to just quickly upgrade the frames. At least with the stone hammer over here, guys, it's a very crappy item. But it actually works quite well. Um, especially on beginning blocks like these, this is actually a the thing you want. Go from over here. Uh, on early blocks like this, that's not concrete. That's not reinforced concrete. The stone hammer is actually the fastest upgrade tool that you get. Um, it's a little bit faster than a nail gun and it's faster, I think, than a claw hammer as well. But for reinforced concrete, you need the claw hammer and the nail gun and stuff like that. I think I want to loot all these places. Oh, you know what? This time around, we should really do all the trade quests first. So the sooner we can actually get ourselves the... Oh, you know why we're getting so hungry, actually? Because we're getting cold. The colder you get, the faster your food goes down. And since we're in this biome, it's bad. Um, I was busy saying something. I completely, I completely went blank just now. Um, claw hammer. Yeah, basically you need the claw hammer uh, or the nail gun to be able to go for reinforced concrete. I know that I was busy saying something else, guys, but I just realized my food is going down really, really fast. And that only happens when you're really, really cold. Oh, no, no. Whoa. Oh, I thought I fell off the roof just now. That would have sucked. Okay, so I need to make sure we get this last piece done over here. If I can make sure it's all the way around, then later I can actually slowly but surely remove the plates if I wanted to. Or I could replace it with some bars so I can actually see out there as well. Or glass. Doesn't really matter which one's which, but as long as you can actually see through it and see what zombies are coming, um, that's going to help you a lot. See, we can fit through here, but I don't think zombies can fit through there. I actually saw an awesome war defense, but I think it's kind of a cheese defense. An uh, indestructible or unbreaking base. Basically, what the guy did was did this, put plates on top, and then a uh, half block or something on top. And the zombies hit over the plate. They didn't destroy the plate at all. Technically, it's a, they're supposed to go for that plate. Uh, you're not supposed to be able to ch uh, cheese it that way. But it's nice to see that you are able to if you wanted to. I might actually try a defense like that out, a cheese defense. I'm trying to do the, the, the legit way, and that ends up getting me or biting me in the ass. Okay, so we need wood. We need a ton of wood. Wait, why don't I have enough wood? You're supposed to have enough wood if you do the quest right. Or did I could do this quest completely wrong? Ooh, I need this meat. Why is it not done yet? Okay, um, I should probably stand by the fire as well, just so we can eat up. Okay. Don't we have any wood at all? I need to make sure that I'm actually seeing this right. This one... Cold resist. If we wear it, we take off the helmet though. That's unfortunate. So I have to wear the helmet. This one can actually scrap then. I want to sell as many things as possible, but at the same time, make sure that we don't actually need to sell stuff that we really need later. Fix... Oh, that's crappy. Damn. Okay, so we just need one or two trees then. We can actually buy the wood. I don't know if it's going to be better to buy the wood, or if it's going to be better to chop the wood. Which we just need to finish these upgrade wooden frames uh, quest. So I might actually buy a stack or two of wood just quickly from the trader. That's going to be fast, the fastest way to do it. And then from there on out, we can actually just do it the right way. And then I need jars. I need a ton of jars right now. Okay, we already have a shovel. Let's keep the highest quality one. Okay, so I need wood, I need stone. Technically, I just need wood. We have enough stone right now. But we're getting cold due to this weather. That's a very big thing or big problem for us at the moment. I mean, look at this. There's no visibility at all. So if a... Uh, oh, no. Ooh, that was... Oh, I sprained my leg. I thought it wasn't going to happen. Damn it. Um, I just realized there's no way for me to get down. Because I blocked off the entryway already. I wanted to see if I can uh, actually perhaps make myself some... Ladders, but I completely forgot to do so. Um, damn, this sucks. I'm gonna have to fall down. I have to fall and hope I don't break my leg. And yeah, if I break my leg right now, we're screwed. So I'm gonna crouch, pick this up. Yeah, that just bruised it a bit, I think. Nice. See, I think in Minecraft they call that MLGing. <laughs> <laughs> I landed perfectly. Morning, I, I crouch and customer. just before I hit the floor, I place the frame. And then you don't hit the ground as hard. Technically, you should still hit it really, really hard, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, so we need some wood. Okay, I think that's enough for now, right? 
I don't want to use too much and then regret it later. We do need nails and stuff, but we can make that as soon as, soon as we have our forge. That's going to come in handy. Food. Ooh, I need food. I'm actually considering getting the meat stew because it fills you up. No, only 20. That's not really that great, but it does give you max health and stamina and stuff. So it is worth going for the meat stew. Now that was a little a bit expensive, deal. but we need it. Trust me. And then I need to see if the guard captain doesn't still have casts and stuff for us. Because with the broken and sprained legs, we're going to need as many casts and bandages as possible. Well, not uh, bandages. Well, bandages as well for healing because we don't have any at the moment. But technically what we need right now is a splint. That's for a broken arm and leg. What, what, what do you use for just blows? You give you a quick health boost. Um, which one actually helps with a sprained leg? I'm not quite sure. I'm going to buy all five of those and all three of these then. Great. Let's just business. use the splint and see if it actually Come helps, but I doubt it's going to help. Oh, it does help. But that lasts nine minutes. And the uh, sprain will only have lasted, what, three minutes? So that was actually a waste. The sprain wasn't as bad as this uh, is just now. Okay, so we need ourselves some ladders as well. We need to be able to get into our base. So we're going to make some ladders. Um, let's go for 20 because we need to be able to get up on the second level. I just really hope the structural integrity isn't too bad because otherwise this is going to suck. Oh, did I? I didn't check for bandages. There are sterile bandages over here. And they aren't as great as the red bandages, but they do help. If you don't have the red ones, I'll take the sterile ones. And this one heals you how much? Health 20? Health 15. Uh, but I don't want to waste water at the moment. So we'll rather go for the sterile bandages. We can also go for the aloe leaf, but at the moment we won't be able to make the red ones until we actually get that far in game. I already ate my meat stew, so we need to make some cash, sell some stuff, and then come back to the trader for even more food. Or just kill a few animals, but with this cold, this is going to be really, really tricky. If we get too cold right now, we can easily die. Okay, so what I want to do quickly, there's no zombies, nothing over here. Line it up right in the middle. Just quickly want to, I wonder if there's a bunker to this place. This steel going all the way around really makes me feel like there's more to this place. Okay, I wonder how low it can go before it actually caves in. Um, that should be high enough so the zombies can't reach it, but I still can. And it doesn't look like it's going to cave in easily, so that's a good thing. And then I can stand on this railing over here and jump for the next one. Nice. Okay, so we have extra ladders to spare. I'll just keep them somewhere over here. We can use it for fuel as well if we really needed to. Okay, we're going to have to go down and kill some zombies, it seems. I hear some zombies. Um, okay, uh, we need to finish upgrading the wood as well. I need food. I I'm actually considering eating the honey, but that's for infections. Um, I wonder if I go into this thing next to the trader, that pure eye, whether I actually get what I need. There should be some storage boxes and more storage and stuff in there, so even if I can just kill some zombies and get some loot and sell that, we'll be able to finally get ourselves some food. I'm going to have to focus on getting myself some proper heated clothing or something like that. Or just stay in front of the fire while I'm at the base and try and do as many things as possible inside that small room of mine. How is this possible? It says I've placed all my frames... But I still need to get a few things done. Basically, it says I've placed all my frames, but I still need to upgrade a ton. It doesn't make sense. Place, wooden frame, 100. Upgrade, 100. According to this, I've already... I've placed way more than... Oh, it might be because I keep stacking on frames and stuff. That makes sense. For now, I'll only keep this one entrance over here. And then later, we can focus on getting a second one going too. I just really don't want to have too many points of access for the zombies. So the one at the back should actually also close off for now until we get some cobble. And then we're going to have to go kill this lady because she's damaging our base at the moment. Ooh, nice. I forgot about this. Quest rewards. Nice. Okay, now it says gather iron. I really hope she loses interest in us. I don't, really don't want to go down there with my little bit of uh, stamina. So it says, gather scrap iron fire axe. We already have the pick, so we don't have to make one, which is awesome. Scrap iron fire axe, level 1. Oh, that sucks. 
I should really actually try and go into these perks over here. Uh, for example, the crafting of the guns and tools and stuff. But like I said, guys, we first want to go. Oh, I can already do it. Nice. Okay, if I can go to level 3 over here, I will be able to make the tailor workstation. And with that, we'll be able to finally make ourselves the medium backpack. But why is this locked? Complete quest chain. Oh, I, I should probably first complete more of this, I think. No, I don't have enough stone. That kind of sucks. Okay, I'm just going to make sure we fill up on water. Uh, food then. Um, what does it say we need? Three duct tape. I don't think we have any duct tape at the moment, right? We have some bones. But we don't even have dirty water to actually cook up some more glue with. We do have some coin left, but I don't want to spend coin all the time. Short iron pipe, one. See, this is the resources we need to actually make ourselves a forge. So I need to dig one block of dirt. I need to chop down one piece of uh, a boulder. And then I need duct tape and short iron, but I'll need to get that from the trader, I think. That kind of sucks. There's no dyes or anything over here that we really need to sell right now, right? Something that I don't mind parting with. Only five? No. Okay, so we're going to have to make do with what we have. Unfortunately. Okay, we're going to keep the splints on us. I think we'll keep the cast on us. That's the best one we have. And we can do this. I wonder if I can mod this one. Yes. Okay, so it's just the stone axe that you can't do anymore. But we can scrap that one then because we have the fire axe now and it's modded. Um, I'm going to do this. The torch can actually stay over here. We don't need the torch since we have the miner's helmet. Or the mining helmet. And then we just need to fill up these jars. The leather for now we don't need. Um, I'll, I'll keep it on me just in case. But I don't think we're going to need it. Right, I'll put it in there. I'm making too much noise opening and closing stuff. So that's why the zombies keep hearing me. Okay, so we're going to go down here. The nice thing is if there's wandering wards, I should actually make a way up for the zombies to get to me. And then the final part is going to have to be to get to the ladder over here. Because then the guards over there should kill them. Especially if I take this railing away. Okay, so. We need to loot this trans and holier storage. But for now, if we can just get that forge going. And then make the metal workstation after that. Or rather the tailor workbench. That's going to be awesome. Wait, where is she? There was definitely a zombie over here wailing on stuff. Now it's gone. I thought I heard something. Hello, hello. Don't know why she came all the way here, but she's here. I'm trying to not do too many power attacks because it eats through your stamina like crazy. And then your food and water goes down even faster. Okay, so we need from you. Oh, there's also the safes over here. Ooh, if I have enough cash left, I might just get myself some stone over here. But that's 125. We won't have enough. Oh, that really sucks. Okay, so, let's see. We need short iron pipes. Just two. We need duct tape or glue. I think let's go for the glue. That's 50. Duct tape is how much? 62. Yeah, we can make our own duct tape. So, I just need three of that. And we're out of cash. Ooh, that sucks. Okay, so if I can just get now some... Oh, you know what? <laughs> I keep me. saying we need water, right? I'm a doctor. What biome are we in? We're in the snow biome, right? So, one block... Over here should give us enough snow to make some uh, murky water. And with the murky water, we can even make more glue. I don't know why I didn't think of this earlier. Okay, I need 18 of these over here. I really hope there's no zombie out here. I'm just going to walk. I don't want to use up too much stamina just in case a lion or something attacks again. If I can pick it up because I don't see a boulder really close by, they might be on the other side. But if I can pick up the stone I want right now, that's going to save me a lot of time. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. If I can get this one over here. This should give me all the stone I need, I think. I'm trying to listen for growls and snarls and stuff from... Any lions, because they're everywhere at the moment. We can't afford to take our eyes off anything, because then they'll be on us in no time. Okay, so where is the farm again? Was the farm over here? Underneath this, there's dirt then. Okay. I thought it's going to be just dirt that you can see, but I need to get some normal clay as well. Thank you. Okay, now with the murky water, we should be able to make ourselves one glue. 
Oh, that will be able to make ourselves the last piece of duct tape. I really want to get past the stairs over here. So we can get those last few boxes over there. There might actually be some glue or uh, duct tape or something in those boxes that we haven't gotten to yet. Which kind of sucks because I can't really reach it right now. So it's just, just out of reach. Um, I think I've looted everything in here already, right? I can break the bird's nest for more feathers and stuff, but I don't need that right now. Just need some cloth quickly. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Just go down here. Uh, first off, let's make ourselves some water. Murky water. There you go. Uh, as soon as the first one's done, we can actually make ourselves one glue. And then with that one glue, uh, we can actually make ourselves three duct tape combined with other two glue. There you go. All we needed. Glue. There you go. Put that at the back. I'm not going to make a ton of, uh, what do you call it, um, drinking water right now. Because later on, we might just need the dirty water. So I'll only make drinking water as I need it, as I require it. We do also have golden rod, so I can actually make myself some golden rod tea, and that's going to help us way more. Okay, so that glue should be done, right? Thank you. We just need some cloth right now, and then voila, duct tape. Just six seconds, nice, not bad. I should probably start putting stuff away as well and making myself a proper inventory over here. Yeah, the forge. Ooh, nice. Forge, there you go. 1 minute 17, and then we'll finally be able to make ourselves some nails and stuff too. And I wonder if I can already spend that point. No. Okay, it says complete the class quest chain. So after placing down the forge, I need to do one more thing, I think. Or is this the number 6 out of 6? It's 5 out of 6. So after placing the forge, there's one more quest we need to do. And then we'll be able to invest the last skill point that we have into the tailor workstation. Guys, if I can make myself a tailoring workstation right now, it's going to be epic. We do need more clay and oil, uh, clay and stuff. Clay and iron. There you go, iron. Uh, but at the moment, um, yeah, it's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Also, I need to invest in the tool skill. If I were to repair this right now, it will go down to level 9. So I'm going to use it as much as possible, and then when it breaks, I'll do something about it. And we need ammo. And we need so much. I might just need to destroy one boulder at least. So if I, if I can destroy one boulder, all that stone will go into making sharp stones. And with sharp stones, we can make ourselves a ton of arrows. Come on, 15 more seconds, and we have what we need. Okay, snowballs, we have a ton of more, but we can actually put that in there. You know what? Let's make this box drinks and medical and food and stuff so everything that's not supposed to be in there can be taken out right now and then the rest to make, i need to make sure i put all the food and water in there food seeds go as well there's nothing else right i mean there might be knowing me i, I easily skip stuff these days okay so we're just going to shift click these in and now the forge is done so let's just quickly place that as well wait what's that why is there glass over here? Is that glass? Yeah. What's behind this? Oh, that's kind of bad, isn't it? I don't know why that's open from the side. That That's kind of dumb. Okay, so that's a vulnerability. That's on the side of the horde. Although, I could actually put all my horde stuff over here and then go down and face them. So, it's on the perfect side that way. Okay, gather forged iron. Oh, forged iron. Baseball. Oh, yeah, the baseball bat. Oh, this one is a bad one because we now we need to smell down a ton of resources. We don't really have a ton of iron and we don't really have a ton of clay. I just need 30 of this and we'll actually finally be able... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I forgot that's... <laughs> I almost forgot how the forges work in Darkest Falls. Okay, forged iron requires anvil. We do have an anvil. We got lucky with an anvil. Thank you. Put that in there and forged iron 21. Ooh, what are we short on? Iron. That's kind of bad. We just need iron right now. She scrapped this one. And... Let's scrap one at a time of this. I want to see how much iron I actually get for that. Eh, not a lot. Uh, really not a lot. But hopefully it helps a little bit. That's 25. Plus the 2 is 27. Oh, almost there. Come on. You know, if I go for a, a boulder right now, we should actually get a, a, the last bit we need. 18. How much does it cost for a forged iron? 20. 10 in the forge. Okay, so now that should be enough, right? 26, 27, or oh, 29. Okay, this is iron crossbow bolts. Oh. 
Because it's iron. If we scrap it, we should get iron from it. I know it's a waste kind of right now, guys. But I need every little piece of iron I can get. There's still cars downstairs that we can technically dismantle as well. And this should also give me some iron, I think. Yeah, that's more iron. So that's the last forged iron need right there. That's going to be like seven or so minutes. Oh, that's long. We have to wait that long to be able to get ourselves the last quest done. But as soon as that quest is done, we'll finally be able to make ourselves a backpack. So that's going to be awesome. Okay, now I need to drop a ton of stuff. Hopefully there's enough space in this thing. Bottle of acid. Would we keep on us? Okay, and coins we don't need right now. So at the moment, we only have feathers and wood on us. Which is actually really not looking good. Um, we do need this and five... Ooh, five leather. You know what? I might just actually spend the night uh, dismantling all the chairs and stuff inside this building. If I can dismantle this place during the night and then in the morning get you guys back, then we should have the resources necessary and this should be done. So yeah, if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. And if you guys are new to this channel, please remember to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.